Morning, morning, morning. Five minute meditators from the sunny state or rainy state of California sitting here in the valley waiting for the sun to rise. It's already up on the east coast and understanding that it is important to bloom where you are planted. You can never, never determine or situate any environment to the best of your ability. But what you can do is acclimate how you incorporate your true and authentic self in that environment. So that's where we're going this morning, blooming where we're planted in our authenticity. So get ready, get yourself together, establish those shoulders, you know, relax those shoulders so that you can begin to posture yourself and see yourself in this state of blooming. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in and hold, hold, hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in and release. Today I choose to be my authentic self in any environment. Today I choose to be my authentic self in any environment. It doesn't matter where you are, where you go, or how long you have to stay. Always be your true self. Living in a state of authenticity helps to decrease your anxiety, stress, depression, dis-ease, frustration, anger, all of those different emotions that can come up when we're trying to control an environment that's outside of our control. So bloom where you are planted. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in and hold, hold, hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in and release. I walk in a position of authenticity. I walk in a position of authenticity. A lot of people ask, what's the definition of authenticity? It's being your actual true self. Well, how do you get there? You have to spend time knowing who you are, relearning all that negative stuff that people used to say that you are and trying to define you. I know oftentimes people will hold you accountable for things of your past. You aren't your past. You aren't there anymore. There's nothing there that can keep you hostage. Learn to love and know you in your absolute truth. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in and hold, hold, hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in and release. I honor myself in my authenticity. I honor myself in my authenticity. Listen, nobody's going to honor you like you honor yourself. I know for as parents, we will give our last for our children as significant others will give our last for our people. The problem is we don't give our last for ourselves. If you can't honor yourself and your authenticity, everybody else is going to take advantage of you. Aren't you tired of that? Don't you want to move past that? Don't you want to live in the freedom of being authentic, not living up to whatever anybody has told you you have to be? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in and hold, hold, hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in and release. When I look at me, I see my heart of authenticity. When I look at me, I see my heart of authenticity. What does that mean? Do you see your truth? Do you walk in your authentic space? Do you love you just the way that you are? I know we all go through the thing of lose weight, gain weight, change behavior, communicate better, all of those things. But when you honestly look at you, are you seeing you? in your authentic truth. If you're not, we need to change the lens. You need to begin to identify and define what authenticity is for you. You have to learn to bloom regardless of the environment. 
Don't forget, you are your greatest asset. Bloom where you're planted. Namaste.